I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus here and today I'm going to show you how to create a backup of your data on any of the three Samsung Galaxy S10 devices. Now recently I've been going through various troubleshooting steps to help you figure out and hopefully fix some of the issues that you may come across with the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Galaxy S10e. And I've just focused on various troubleshooting steps like booting into safe mode or clearing an application's cache or data, wiping the cache partition, and even going as far as doing a factory reset to completely wipe the information we have on our device. Now I know a lot of people hate to get that suggestion to do a factory reset, but it, if, it's a, if you're experiencing an issue that is software related, then that can definitely fix a lot of these issues that you might be coming across, including a poor battery life, or overheating, things like Bluetooth devices not connecting. There's a lot of stuff that a factory re reset can fix, but a lot of people hate hearing that because you have to set your phone back up again. You have to put all the data you have back on your device. So one of the ways to ease you into doing a factory reset is by creating a backup of the data you have on your device. And that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. I'm going to show you how to back up your device using the Samsung Smart Switch program, which requires us to have a USB cable attached to our device. So yesterday I showed you how to use Samsung Smart Switch to manually install an over-the-air update. And today I want to show you another feature of that program, that Windows program, that shows you how to create a backup of, the, of your data that you have on your device. So once you have downloaded and installed Samsung Smart Switch, which I recommend any Samsung smartphone owners do for anything, the drivers al alone, but also for the backup and manual update features that it has packed into the, to the program. So once you have that installed, we can go ahead and open up the program and let me show you how to create that backup. Now if you open up Samsung Smart Switch without having your Galaxy S10 connected via a USB cable, then it's going to tell you, hey, Samsung Smart Switch does not detect a device, plug it in. And if this is your first time using Samsung Smart Switch with your Galaxy S10, you might receive a prompt at the bottom of your Galaxy S10. Just go ahead and allow um, your computer to have access to the device, and then Samsung Smart Switch will detect which Samsung device is connected. So once we have Smart Switch open, we can begin the backup process by just clicking on the backup button right here. Very simple, very big button. It's going to go and it's going to back up various parts of the Simpson Galaxy S10. You can see what it's currently backing up at that time. And there we have it. A very quick backup has been created of the Samsung Galaxy S10 using the Samsung Smart Switch application. And here we have all the information right here. We have the date and the time we have which device it is, the total size, and all of the things that succeeded and all of the things that were excluded. So we got contacts, clock, internet, images, music, applications, home screen, and settings were all backed up. 
but then a lot of things were not backed up because there was no data to back up. You know, I just have this as a tutorial device, so I have no reason to use it for calls or voice memos or documents or messages. But if you have data in those, then you will see them up here as being included in that backup. And the size of this backup will depend on how much data you have for Smart Switch to back up. And that's it. That is how to create a backup of the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Galaxy S10e using Samsung Smart Switch.